What's up everyone, Lion Roar here, and it's been a couple of weeks since we got the core refresh in Gods Unchained, so I decided to update my Viking deck to add a couple of those new cards. So, of course, I'm gonna do a deck tech, and then I'm gonna play a match in Weekend Ranked so you can see how it is. But first, download Gods Unchained if you're looking for an NFT trading card game where you own and can trade your own cards. Use the link in the description to start with a few free packs. Alright, so I had already previously done a video on Viking Tribal and did a deck tech. This deck is very, very similar to it. It's just that I added some core refresh cards and made some changes here and there. I'm just going to talk about the changes, so if you want to see the Viking Tribal deck in more detail, make sure to go check out that other video. Uh, but one of the things that I've done differently with this version of the deck is I took out my one non-Viking creature that was present in the other deck, the Archangel Bruiser, and uh, we did get some new Vikings with the core refresh, so it's allowing this deck to be 100% entirely made of Vikings. There are some spells and relics in here uh, as well, but one of the additions from the core refresh is Valknir Flamecaller. And it is a two mana, two to roar, give plus one strength to your other Vikings, which is just really awesome because we almost always have Vikings down and we almost always have multiple Vikings down. And so we're going to be very aggressive, low to the ground, you know, being able to take out an Archangel Bruiser, which, um, you know, is a higher mana count means that I was able to bring my curve down. Look at this, an absurd amount of two mana cards in here. And this is just a beautiful curve in an aggressive deck right here. The other addition um, from Core Refresh is this Runecaster of Oros. So this is a four mana, three, three. Roar, obliterate any non-Viking cards in your hand and draw two cards. Not exactly sure how this is, one's gonna go, but one thing the war decks needed and the Viking deck in particular was some card advantage. Now, you typically had to get card advantage through an unusual way um, in this deck previously, and that was through having several protected creatures because it almost always means that your opponent's having to spend a couple of cards trying to get rid of a creature like this. But this is actually just straight up card advantage where I'm getting to draw cards potentially. So probably one of the last cards I want to play. However, I do envision there could be some awkward scenarios where maybe I have Runecaster and one of these higher mana cards like Red Fume Serum or Soul Survivor, and uh, I'm kind of stuck not being able to cast Runecaster unless I'm okay get, getting rid of one of these two, but these are like two of the best cards in the deck. So I think adding Runecaster is great for card advantage, but it could be a risky add. We're just going to have to play it out and see how it does. So let's do this. All right, way too high. Um, this is actually all right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep that. Good luck. Once got a one, two, three curve and a little bit of removal here. We got some pump action going. Ah. Get ready. Interesting. All right. Well, we are definitely starting with the enduring shield. Go. Now the only bummer about playing the nature deck is that they can use Selena's mark and then kill whatever I do with the uh, Enduring Shield, but at least they have to waste mana doing it. We're playing a very cool aggressive deck. I like this deck, Cosmos. Good deck. Two arms. That's the Amazon deck. They might be faster than me. I might just have to kill them. One, two, three. Um, let's go ahead and put out the Boil Blood Outlaw. Kill this. I know it's going to create a afterlife dude and then we'll play out our flame collar let's see how they respond and pass an endangered species 
I've been thinking about playing this Amazon deck, and so playing against this actually makes me really excited to try it out. Um, but I do need to get a few of the cards for this first. But it looks super fun. He didn't take that trade. That seemed like it would be a good one. But what do I know? <laughs> why why would they trade that? I know they get the one one, but that was more power, you know? I don't know. At last. Alright. This does have blitz. So, give her protected first, or second, three, if it, it would be a three, two, one, two, easier to beat. Let's go ahead and hit, then give it protected. And pass. I just have to hope they don't destroy all my creatures, but believe it or not, I actually think the nature deck has more removal. And it just depends. They might have skimped on the removal to put out more Amazon creatures, but when I have to go there and clean up like that... See, I'm okay with that because, like... My opponent just had to take six damage to do that, which is awesome. Um, okay, we got a Raid Reveler. We got a Blade of Sticks. Um, four. Let's just use all our mana. Next turn, we can like Blade of Sticks and, and um, Slayer, or we can Raid Reveler and Slayer. At last. Hmm. We should save the Valkus Captain. Let's. back them in the corner to do is use their mana and remove their own creature. Um, let's just go with Raid Revelar and hit them and say go. He doesn't like my blade of sticks out here. I think he doesn't want to play something into it, potentially. Get ready. Can I kill that? Three, six. Yes, I can most certainly kill that. Let's do it.
Let's take away the bronze servant. Possibly. Do I care? Nah. Let's go with that. For the wicked. And let them pass. squirm for a while. I don't know if he can buy enough to get the bronze servant, but removing a barbed hook's not that big of a deal. Now he doesn't know what I want to use the rune of strength on, which is cool. I am nervous about the hunt. Yeah. Bummer. My turn. Maybe we can put tavern brawler down to hit that with the rune of strength um Four, six, eight. If he's got the hunt, I'm screwed. Let's maybe just wait. Tyrant to all, master of none. So the axe woman can come in, deal two, three, four. I should be able to do this. There we go. Got him. <laughs> what? Why is this not? <laughs> there we go, glitch. All right, so this Viking tribal deck continues to do pretty well in an ever-changing metagame of Gods Unchained. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification so you know when I drop new videos or go live, and I will catch you in the next one.